Hello, I'm Adam Barillet and welcome to this Crystal Connections video. We're exploring the idea of making a crystal cauldron. Now, a crystal cauldron was this idea that popped into my head a little while ago when I first started writing my book, Gifts as the Essential Oils. And if you've been watching these videos for a while now, you know that I really have two real loves, crystals and essential oils. And a crystal cauldron involves bringing these two together. Now, first of all, you need a diffuser. Why do we diffuse essential oils? Well, remember the old fashioned oil burners where we put a tea light candle underneath and heat it up? A couple of problems with that. First of all, apart from being a fire hazard and normally the water dries up and you get that wretched smell around your house, it's also taking out the therapeutic benefits of the oils because just like vegetables, when we cook them, we lose some of the goodness. The great thing about a diffuser is a diffuser uses vibration rather than heat to create that mist that comes out. It's a lot safer around the house. It doesn't upset or destroy the therapeutic benefits of the essential oils. And diffusers are designed to turn themselves off when they're empty. So if you leave the house and forget about it, or you want to have one going throughout the night, absolutely perfect. So first of all, once you've got your diffuser, you want to then choose an essential oil that's set with an intention of what you have at this point in time. You know, check out the playlist of my essential oil videos at the end of this video, and you can choose an essential oil that kind of matches with your intention. Then we want to choose a crystal to go with our diffuser. Now, when it comes to putting crystals in water, because that's what we're about to do, there's a general rule. Some can go in water and some cannot. Which crystals can? Well, we could spend ages going through every single crystal, but that would take way too long. So this is my rule. There are two different types of crystals that can go into water. First of all, you can put the quartz family in. So that it's clear quartz, smoky quartz, rose quartz, uh, amethyst and citrine. The other variety of qu crystals that we can put into water is tumbled stone. So this is something that's been polished or varnished. The only tumbled stone we can't put in water is selenite. So raw crystals or selenite, tumbled selenite, any type of selenite cannot go in water. Then what we do is we basically fill up our diffuser with water as we meant to, pop our essential oils in and then pop a couple of tumbled stones or raw quartz stones into that diffuser. Don't put it over the little disc that helps to generate the mist. And then what are we doing? Well, in my other videos, I've talked about how we can charge water and make a crystal elixir. So what we're doing is we're putting the crystal energy in there, that's going in the water. And of course, essential oils have energy as well. So we've got the crystal energy and the essential oil energy, both just spelling around the room, like a magical cauldron, creating an atmosphere, a space or a vibration of what you want to manifest. Now, there are some great crystal combos and essential oil combos. And normally at the end of my crystal videos, I talk about an oil. And at my um, oil videos, I talk about a crystal to go with. There's a raven that has something to say too. But you know, if you're wanting to, for some great ones to start off with, try lavender and amethyst for a calming energy or clear quartz and peppermint for an uplifting energy as well. So this is the great way to bring gifts from the plant kingdom and the mineral kingdom together, working as one. Try creating a crystal cauldron and let us know what you do. Put some comments in the section below and we can all learn from everyone else's experience as well. Thank you so much for taking the time to watch this video. I'm Adam Barillet. Blessed be.